hi welcome to engineering made easy so friends now we will uh, see the frequency modulation versus amplitude modulation on the basis of uh, advantages and disadvantages of each okay so first uh, we will start with the benefits of fm the frequency modulation over amplitude modulation okay uh, after that we will see some uh, benefits of am over fm so let's start with benefits of fm okay so the first benefit of fm is that fm broadcasts operate in upper vhf and uhf ranges vhf means a very high frequency and uhf is ultra high frequency so these uh, broadcasts fm broadcasts operate in vhf and uhf ranges very high frequency ranges while medium frequency and high frequency ranges are used by am broadcasts okay so this is a big dis uh, big advantage for fm since in very high frequency and ultra high frequency ranges there is less noise interference as the uh, frequency of operation uh, for broadcasting increases the interference of noise decreases okay so in this uh, way um, noise is less in case of fm in comparison to am now let's come to the second uh, advantage in fm receivers they are uh, more immune to noise in comparison to am receivers okay since fm receivers may be fitted with the uh, amplitude limiters okay so these amplitude limiters can remove the amplitude variations caused by the noise so here we have seen in these two cases that uh, uh, fm is uh, better uh, while uh, in dealing with the noise as we can uh, we operate uh, fm in high frequency ranges which reduces the noise interference in high frequency and uh, not only this we can use uh, amplitude limiters these amplitude limiters further remove the noise that is not possible in case of amplitude modulation okay now our third point the third advantage of fm is in fm it is uh, possible to further reduce noise by increasing frequency deviation okay this is not possible in case of am since in am we cannot exceed 100 percent modulation without severe distortion so what does this mean it means uh, since we know what is frequency modulation in uh, frequency modulation we vary the uh, carrier waves uh, frequency the frequency of the carrier wave is varied as per the change in the instantaneous value of the modulating that is the message signal so frequency there is a deviation in the uh, frequency of the carrier wave so this is the frequency deviation so in case of a frequency modulation we can uh, reduce the noise by increasing that deviation of frequency and since in um, uh, amplitude modulation amplitude is varied as per the instantaneous value of the message signal so the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied but the frequency is not varied it is constant so it is uh, that uh, kind of frequency deviation uh, to reduce the noise is not possible in am okay now what is the fourth advantage let's see it a standard frequency allocations provide a guard band between commercial fm stations this leads to less interference between adjacent channels in fm in comparison to am so it means uh, when we broadcast um, in case of um, uh, frequency modulated uh, commercial stations we use guard bands means uh, extra uh, uh, frequency band is allocated so that uh, when uh, uh, many stations simultaneously uh, transmit or broadcast their signals they do not get uh, interfered there is some separation safe distance safe separation between these uh, frequency bands uh, uh, of the various uh, commercial fm stations so this is not possible in case of uh, amplitude modulation now we will see the fifth advantage in case of fm all the transmitted power is useful but in am most of the power is present in carrier 
that does not contain any information so it means that in fm we know that uh, frequency of the carrier wave is varied as per the modulating that is a message signal so all the transmitted power okay uh, is present in fm and that is useful but in am we have uh, three uh, things like uh, one is the carrier wave and two side bands okay in uh, common fm in okay so there are other uh, modulations uh, various uh, types of uh, am also like uh, double side band suppressed carrier or the single side band also but uh, if we talk about the general am then we have two side bands and uh, the carrier wave so all the information is contained in these side bands and the carrier part does not carry any information in any information in case of am so that that most of the power is present in the carrier that does not contain any information so it is wasted in case of am so fm is better in this way also in comparison to am now the sixth advantage in fm amplitude is constant so does not depend on modulation depth we know that in fm only the frequency of the carrier wave is varied but the amplitude is kept constant so it in a case of fm it does not depend the amplitude does not depend on the modulation depth okay but in case of amplitude modulation the transmitted power is governed by the modulation depth okay now, it is also clear by the formula of uh, that shows the relationship between the modulation depth that is the modulation index of am and also and the transmitted power you can see that there is a dependency okay uh, this allows the use and this allows the use of low level modulation in fm transmitters okay we can use low level modulation in fm transmitter because of this and also we can uh, use uh, efficient class c amplifiers the class c amplifiers are very efficient amplifiers in uh, all the stages okay following the modulator so we can also use uh, the class c efficient amplifiers in all the stages stages that follow the modulator okay so this is also an advantage of uh, fm now the sixth now the seventh that is the last advantage the average power handled equals the peak power okay since all the amplifiers handle constant power in case of fm but in case of amplitude modulator transmitter the maximum power is four times the average power so i think it's clear so here we have uh, seen uh, seven advantages of fm over am now it's time to see few uh, advantages of am over fm so what are these advantages first advantage of am is transmitting and receiving equipments used in fm mainly for the purpose of modulation and demodulation are more complex and so more costly also in comparison to am this is a really a big disadvantage of fm that the circuitry of receiving and uh, transmitting um, modulators is comparatively expensive and costly expensive and complex in comparison to am so this is a disadvantage the second disadvantage of fm is a channel of 200 kilohertz is required okay in fm broadcast in comparison to only 10 kilohertz in case of am broadcast so the wastage of uh, channel bandwidth is is uh, seen in fm because only uh, because only 10 kilohertz is required while broadcasting am signals but we need 200 kilohertz there is a big difference between 10 kilohertz and 200 kilohertz you can see in case of fm so we need more bandwidth in case of uh, fm broadcast so this is really a big drawback of fm you can see so these were the this was the comparative study of uh, am a study of am and fm and uh, we saw here that there are many advantages of fm in comparison to am but in some cases am is better in comparison to fm 
So this is all about the competitive study of AM and FM. Friends, for more such videos, you can uh, subscribe my channel, Engineering Made Easy. And please don't forget to like and share the video if you liked it. For more detailed information, you can uh, visit my blog www.engineeringmadeeasypro.com Its link is given in the description of this video. You can check it and uh, see you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.